In this video, I'll be showing you how to cook a Nigerian fried rice with a Nigerian rice. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. guys welcome back so in this video i'll be showing you how to make nigerian fried rice with nigerian rice for those of you that think nigerian fried rice is not possible with nigerian rice after watching this video to the end i promise you that you're going to change your mind so i started by soaking my nigerian rice in hot water for about 10 minutes why i'm stirring it is because i don't want it to cake so you're just going to stir so that the water enters into the rice properly and you leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes I placed my already washed chicken in a pot over a heat and added seasonings of choice. I've listed my seasonings up there. You can use seasonings of your own choice if you're not comfortable with mine. So go ahead and just use whatever you like or what is good for you. I added my diced onions and then I tried to stir everything up so the spices and chicken will marry properly. I didn't add any water to this chicken because I know while it's heating up for about 10 minutes, the chicken is going to produce some juice which will be used in steaming the chicken. I'm going to leave this to steam for about 10 minutes to 15 minutes on a low heat. After 10 to 15 minutes, I opened it up and added some water, enough to cover the chicken so that it will cook for a period of 25 to 30 minutes on a normal heat not a very high heat for any of my curry dishes i use this curry masala just in case you're interested while my chicken was boiling i went on to boil my liver with just salt in another pot so guys let's get back to our rice my rice has been soaking for about 15 minutes i'm going to take out the first water you can see how whitish it is have been able to at least extract some of the starch from this rice you know and you're going to keep washing it with um, cold water, ordinary water now. Keep stirring it, rinsing it so that um, you can at least get rid of more of the starch. It's not really possible to get rid of all the starch from your rice, but at least you'll be able to get rid of most of it by just rinsing and rinsing and rinsing. Do this over and over till your, your water is at least transparent and is not this white. At least it is transparent it is good for you to always take out the excess starch from your rice before boiling it it will even at least help your rice boil well it's not going to be sticky or you know at least because you've taken out some of the starch now you can see how clean the water is you can do this one more time and then your rice is ready to be cooked <laughs> now we're done washing our rice and we're going to go back to our chicken. Our chicken is ready. <laughs> Look how pretty my chicken is. Well cooked, well boiled, and it's ready to go into my air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you can put it in your oven. If you don't put it in your oven, you can fry it. By frying, I mean you can deep fry in your vegetable oil. Now, this process is very important when you're making fried rice. You're going to separate your chicken broth or chicken stock from the tiny pieces of chicken or the spices that are in the stock why you're doing this is because you want your rice to cook well you don't want some parts to be soft some parts not to be or you don't want all these tiny things you're not you don't have to throw it away you keep it for something like your porridge um, yam porridge plantain or if you're making a soup dish you can always use those things for it but you try to avoid it in your fried rice look at how clean and neat my stock is and ready to be used for my fried rice i placed another pot over a heat and added that meat stock to it i brought to a boil i added my rice that we had soaked and washed earlier on what i did was to stir it a bit so that it sits properly in my chicken stock covered and i allowed it to cook while my rice was cooking, I went to prep my vegetables, some onions, some bell peppers, some runner beans, carrots, and then some green bell peppers. You can add other vegetables if you want. I had to check on my rice because I didn't put a lot of water. Fried rice doesn't need a lot of water. Now, when I checked my rice was still strong or it wasn't soft, I didn't add a lot of water. I just added a little water again to help the rice get soft. 
it is better to add water in stages than going with a lot of water and then your rice to be over soft so i checked on my rice again after about 10 minutes look at how soft and how ready it is to be fried with my vegetables if you have watched this far i hope you're enjoying this video please if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe thank you so guys i had to do the experiment again by pressing it and look at it it came out just the way i wanted it i set the rice aside put another pot over heat and added some vegetable oil you can use any oil of choice i added the cooked liver and went on to stir fry for about five minutes now you're not just going to leave this liver like this because the oil is not a lot you're going to turn it from time to time so one side doesn't get burned and the other side stay um fresh so you're just going to be turning and tossing it in your pan depending on your heat this might take up to 10 minutes say 5 to 10 minutes for it to be well fried now look my liver is changing color slowly i'm just going to go in with some onions and some red bell peppers now these are the local red bell peppers they call them tatashi i love adding them to my fried rice because it has this very nice flavor not the usual bell peppers this ones they call them tatashi so if you can find them around you Add it to your fried rice and trust me you're going to love it <laughs> now i went in with some seasonings i added some stock powder salt and then some cameroon pepper and then i stirred this because i don't want my vegetables to be bland i want them to be tasty and nice so i'm not going to just fry them in oil <laughs> and at least added a little seasoning to it i went in with my carrots and my runner beans you're going to allow the other ones to fry first before adding this ones because you don't want them to be too soft you still want your vegetables crunchy i allowed my carrots and runner beans to fry with the vegetables I had put earlier don't let it fry for too long just two minutes is okay like i said earlier you want your vegetables still crunchy in your fried rice after about two minutes i added my cooked rice to my vegetables you're going to take your time in adding this don't just pour all the rice inside or add all the rice why you're going to take your time is so that you'll be able to turn it if it's a lot you may not be able to turn so add it step by step so that you can mix properly and all the vegetables will marry with the cooked rice you're going to do this very well at this point you can reduce your heat to enable you take your time in mixing your rice or marrying your rice with the vegetables <laughs> immediately after this process you're going to add your green bell peppers i add my green bell peppers at the end because i don't want the heat to overcook them i always still want them fresh and the flavors also very fresh in my meal so guys my meal is almost ready like just a minute after adding my green bell pepper you can take it off the fire and then go ahead and serve i served my meal with my chicken and i enjoyed this rice i hope you get to try this out soon thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel bye